Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just sharing my thoughts on the Present Toys Ninja Warrior set here. We have two figures that bear a very strong resemblance to the Pop Toys version called the Shadow Ninja some years ago. Uh, got some nice display bases, some cool hand sculpts, the swords and the ninja masks with some pretty good head sculpts as well. And notice the difference between the boots here and the Pop Toys version. Totally different look to the boots, totally different design. I believe the Pop Toys boots to be a little bit more movie accurate looking. We've got the wire in the belt there, same as the Pop Toys version. A wrist peg showing there, should have covered that up. <laughs> and the pictures, uh, not very high res as you can see. I'll just grab these off Facebook so I don't zoom in very often. But they look great together here. The lighting making the blades and the swords look a little bit more silver there. I think they pretty much should be like a charcoal kind of black. Uh, but great looking pieces, but very, very similar looking to the Pop Toys version. But that's only because uh, the Pop Toys version is very movie accurate and this is striving for the same deal. Now, be wary of the material around his neck on the ninja outfit, staining the neck of the head sculpt. That's a common thing that happens with black material in these 1-6 scale figures. If you're, uh, you're not careful, you will stain the neck. So try and maybe create a bit of a barrier, maybe some cling film, or maybe you don't care because he's just going to be wearing the mask the whole time. But these head sculpts do look pretty good. The sculpts look accurate to the movie. You've got that kind of Batman Begins era kind of Bruce Wayne hairstyle and the kind of more youthful look in his face as opposed to in The Dark Knight Rises. He was uh, looking a bit more battle kind of weathered. Um, but we have just a very, very similar looking piece, even down to the material used on the ninja outfit. It looks really, really very similar to the Pop Toys release. Again, shout out to Alex for that amazing gift some years ago. Now, something to note about the sword, be very careful. If it is just maybe a re-sculpting or a recasting of the Pop Toys sword, it could be. I don't know how this is working, but they're both unofficial third-party versions of the ninja from uh, Batman Begins. But I found the blade uh, breaks away from the handle of the sword on the Pop Toys version very easily. I had to glue it back on, and that was not easy to do. And I don't want anyone else to ever go through that because it was very stressful trying to get the blade back glued onto the handle of the sword so be very careful with that i would be uh you know i wouldn't touch it too much um what else have we got here articulation seems really good although it would be there's no you know heavy armor around the the elbows to kind of hinder that and on the pop toys version uh, we've got some pretty good articulation in the shoulders even with that shoulder armor there although on the pop toys version the shoulder armor is actually glued down to the black material. Whereas here, I think you can kind of tell that it's more just kind of like a hinge at the top there where it's kind of glued on to the straps of, over the shoulder and gives you a bit more articulation. So you might be able to get a bit more movement in the shoulder area on this version. Uh, I think most people are probably going to be swapping out this head sculpt for a Hot Toys version of Bruce Wayne if they have that lying around. Uh, but I don't think there's anything wrong with these head sculpts, especially for the price point. I don't know exactly how much these are, but I have heard they're very reasonably priced, especially seeing as you get two figures. Uh, the Ra's al Ghul sculpt is very good. I like the way they've done the facial hair. It looks really accurate. Uh, the expression on his face with a bit of a furrow in the brow, looking very serious and wise. Um, very good. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, if you're new to the channel, but... Batman Begins is my favourite film of all time. That's right. It's uh, my favourite of the trilogy. I think it's the best superhero film ever made. That's debatable because you've got the original Superman film, which is bloody classic, and the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, and a lot of the Marvel stuff these days is very, very high calibre. But I just think Batman Begins, man, it just it's a special one. I've seen it a few times, <laughs> to say the least, and I never get bored. There's no fact to trim in Batman Begins. I just think it's absolute perfection. So... I'm really glad that uh, someone is showing the film a little bit of love these days. There's a hell of a lot of Dark Knight statues out there and, you know, I'm going to be doing a video probably on the, um, you got the Queen Studios Joker statue and then another one, was it J, oh, something. I'm going to cover it soon anyway. There's a lot to cover when it comes to uh, Heath Ledger statues at the moment. But it's nice to see Batman Begins getting some love. I think it's such a masterpiece. Um, in my opinion, flawless, just absolutely incredible. So uh, I'm sure there's plenty more of you out there who feel the same way and are really craving some Batman Begins stuff, especially something as badass as the League of Shadows Ninjas, you know? It doesn't get much cooler than that. But again, check out his boots. You've got a separation at the boot and the ankle there for great articulation. But like I said, totally different design to the Pop Toys one. The Pop Toys ones are like boots, but with this kind of shin plate that's separate that you can kind of put over the top of the shins. 
and I've checked some images on Google. It's not that easy to find pictures of the, you know, from head to toe, the actual legal shadows uh, on the set of the movie, the outfits. It's quite hard to, to get a look at that. Oh, and I guess you got to be careful as well, because if, you know, if the material around the neck is going to stain, you know, the black stainage on the, the skin there, then surely the mask uh, would do the same thing over a long period of time if it's really tight on the head. Watch out for that too. Again, there's ways around that. You could just wrap cling film all around these head sculpts uh, and just leave the eyes showing and be very careful. I had to do that with my Batman Begins quarter scale um, figure from Hot Toys when I have him set up as the first night outlook when he's got the ski mask on. I just covered the whole head in cling film uh, and just left the eyes showing so that it looked like, you know, like there was nothing going on under the mask, but he's actually fully protected. I think I'm running out of time here, folks, but I really am glad that people are going to get the chance to get some League of Shadows ninja action in their collections. Um, I think it was Rodney who uh, sort of spurred me on to do this video, so uh, shout out to you, sir, and I hope you like it. 